Welcome to this first episode of the Christian Focus podcast. My name is William Mackenzie and I'm the Managing Director of Christian Focus. We believe in the power of books, especially books with a clear gospel message. So here's what we have coming very soon. The Army of God, Spurgeon's Vision for the Church by Geoffrey Chang. Large trade paperback, 360 pages, £14.99 in the UK, $19.99 in the US. Spurgeon preached 13 times a week. At 17 years old, he was becoming one of the world's most famous preachers. His church became known as the largest church in Christendom. What was his vision for the church? Here in this book, The Army of God, we find that he recognized what needed to be dealt with. Revivalism, ritualism, and rationalism. How did he do that? The book shows us. What is commitment to the local church, and why is that essential for us today? The book again tells us that. Spurgeon said, you will not think less of Christ for thinking much of his bride, the Lord Jesus. The church is to be an army in the fight for truth. This book is full of helpful encouragement, saturated with new insights and refreshingly written. A new track book on grief by Paul Todges. Pocket paperback, 96 pages, UK price 3.99, US price 4.99. Grief is part of life. Suffering is inevitable. What is it? Does God know? Does God understand? The questions flood our minds. Why is there such pain? Why am I suffering this loss? Why is there death? Everyone, everywhere, experiences grief. Where can we find help? Is there any possibility of comfort? Can grief be for our good? This book shares real-life experiences of deep grief and indicates how God in his word and his promises is the ultimate help. My help comes from the Lord. There is hope and help which leads us through times of trouble and grief to a place of wisdom and joy. Another great track book, Body Image by Julie Lowe. Pocket paperback, 88 pages, UK price 3.99 and US 4.99. We've become obsessed with how we look. The cosmetic and clothing industry tell us, use this and you will be attractive. And we fall for it. You need new clothes. You need a new hairstyle. But where is our true worth? What did God make us for? What are we made to be and to do? We so often look in the wrong mirror. Too often it's the mirror on the wall. This book is the corrective we need. Look in the mirror of the Word of God. Find your identity, joy, and worth in and from Jesus Christ. Track Purity in a Porn-Saturated Culture by Helen Thorne Allenson Paperback, 96 pages 3.99 3.99 UK, 4.99 US. It was Satan's first attack, temptation, and it worked. He also tried to do that with the Lord Jesus. We're subject to them also. Use your phone, enjoy a wee break, see what the world is doing. No one will know, and you might enjoy it. This shows how dangerous these things are these temptations. This book helps us to escape these temptations. 
warns us of the dangers and exalts the great alternative. The new affection, the grace of God, the loveliness and beauty of our Lord Jesus Christ. Reclaiming the Dark Ages by Ian Wright and Yannick Imbert. Large trade paperback, 152 pages, UK 999, US 999. Why were they called the Dark Ages? Was that really a fair description? This is a time in history that we are in danger of neglecting, but it is a very important period. God was working. God ensured that the gospel was shining through the likes of Anselm of Canterbury and Jan Hus. This is an overview of a thousand important years gives us encouragement in our seemingly declining culture and brings us to be thankful for the light of the gospel that is still shining and that will always shine. Mark by Eric Redmond, large trade paperback, 250 pages, UK, £14.99, US, 1999. Mark is the fast-moving gospel account. It shows us how our Saviour King did service to all he met, to the leaders who eventually arrested him, to the disciples who eventually abandoned him, and to the crowds who were there mocking him. This book is full of helpful insights to the person and work of our servant king and gives us the example to follow in such a time as this. Cyril of Alexandria by Daniel Hames, paperback, 144 pages, UK £8.99, US $12.99. This paragraph is from Fred Saunders. A deep respect for the word of God in Scripture, an exalted doctrine of God, a unitive Christology, and a very high doctrine of salvation all come together in the vast spiritual vision of Cyril of Alexandria, as in almost no other ancient theologian. When you come away from this book, you've got a new sense of the wonder of God and Christ reconciling the world to himself. Bible Basics. What is the Christian faith all about? By Stephen Nichols. Trade hardback, 96 pages, 1199 UK, 1499 US. We need to get back to basics. Do you want your children to build upon the best foundation? Do you want them to know and understand how the Bible came to us? What's its purpose? Who is the author? The book does that for us in a way that is clear, is simple and yet profound. It looks at the events the places, the people, the critical moments in the whole of Scripture encourages us to learn it, to love it, to live it and memorize it with a clear grasp of why and the benefits that that brings to us. John and Charles Wesley, two brothers, one faith, Pocket paperback, 160 pages, 699 UK, 999 US. Two of the greatest characters of church history, founders of Methodism, remarkable conversions, wrote amazing hymns and carols which we still sing, travelled the world, the US, Ireland, even Scotland, 
sometimes on horseback. They preached anywhere, everywhere, inside, outside, under a tree. This riveting story of two men chosen by God, sent by God, used by God, challenges and helps us to follow their example and to be available to do for our God whatever he wishes. David Livingston, Africa's Greatest Explorer, by Vance Christie, pocket paperback, 160 pages, UK 699, US 999. David Livingston, in my view, is the world's greatest explorer. A Scot in Africa, in the jungle, facing endless obstacles with weather, dangers, disease, loneliness, uncertainty. What made him do all of this? How did he persevere? Read this book and be inspired by his steadfast love of Jesus, his commitment to share the gospel with all he met, his commitment to end the slave trade, his discovery of the great Zambezi River, and yet his great dreams and hopes for Africa only happened after he died. His prayers were answered eventually. Absolutely inspiring story.